While Nimbus 1 offers ease of use and parking in the city with its small body, it aims to offer a safety experience similar to cars with its completely closed structure and features such as front airbag. The variety of small electric vehicles for urban use is increasing day by day. Nimbus 1, which we will talk about in this news, is one of these vehicles. Nimbus 1 appears as a vehicle with similar dimensions to motorcycles, three wheels, two at the front, one at the back, and a fully enclosed body like automobiles. If we talk about its technical features, this small electric vehicle aims to reach a range of 150 kilometers on a single charge with a 9 kilowatt hour battery. It is also stated that Nimbus 1 can reach a maximum speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Nimbus 1's battery is in an advantageous position in terms of charging as its battery pack is removable. Its battery reaches full charge in 1.2 hours with a level 2 charger. It takes 5.4 hours to charge via a standard socket at home. Let us also note that the three-wheeled vehicle completes the acceleration from 0 to 48 km per hour in 3 seconds. With a width of 86 cm, Nimbus 1 takes up one-third of the space of a standard car when parked upright. Moreover, the company states that the carbon footprint of this small vehicle is one-third of a Tesla Model 3 and one-tenth of a gasoline car. This makes Nimbus 1 an ideal solution for urban use compared to normal cars. Although Nimbus 1 is the size of a motorcycle, it has car-like features. These include the steering wheel, front airbag, windshield wiper and even an artificial intelligence feature that detects other vehicles and avoids collisions with built-in cameras. Although the vehicle appears to be a single-seater, there is another folding seat behind the driver's seat. Moreover, it is stated that there are necessary connections for the child's seat. Another feature that makes this small electric vehicle safe is that it leans sideways like a motorcycle when turning. The balance mechanism in the vehicle automatically performs this tilt depending on the severity of the bend.